Hi all my students, I want to participate in this Mars mission and I have an influencer, Amran Shroff, which when he does something, it makes me want to do it in the future, for example. Amran Shroff is the project manager of the Emirates Mars mission and you won't be believe it or not, I actually got an interview with him and it's incredible. No problem. Um, so first, I'd like to thank you for your time and for actually managing to be here. And um, I'd like to I'd like to congratulate you on your latest mission to Mars. Um, okay, so let's begin. Uh, now in NASA, we have a project. So we have to put a spacecraft to make it land onto Mars. Um, I'm afraid to fail. Um, I, but my, my question is, were you afraid to fail when it was like, when you were you and your team, was it your first time? Were you afraid to fail? Uh, first of all, thank you, Alex, for having me. And I feel honored uh, that I'm being interviewed by you. Uh, and good luck in your project, a very ambitious project. Thank you. Uh, regarding your question, uh, whether I felt um, afraid. Uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, whenever there is a risk, there is a sense of being a little worried, you know. Uh, I wouldn't say maybe you would uh, be afraid or terrified. You should try to make sure that, okay, you feel confident, uh, you focus on the goal and the objective, but at the same time to be realistic because, I mean, the, the mission that we sent to Mars had a 50% uh, chance of failure. So we had to worry. If we did not worry, we wouldn't have paid more attention to detail. We wouldn't have conducted more tests and, or, and thorough tests to the, to the system. Uh, so you should worry. It's something normal and something important. If you do not worry, then I would be worried, uh, let's say if, if I'm the person uh, funding you and asking you to build a mission you know, to Mars. So it's normal and, and, and it's good, but don't let it defocus you. So always focus on the main objective. Okay. So my second question is, when, on, oh, what age have you actually started to dream about space? I've always dreamt about space. And uh, when I was young, I always w wished and hoped that one day I would be able to work on a, any mission uh, that is uh, in, in, in space or whether it's around Earth or going to a different planet. Uh, however, uh, at that time, the UAE did not have any space program. So I was not sure if it's going to happen. You know, so I dreamt about it. I hoped for it. I wished for it. But the, 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 we were still a young nation. We didn't have any space program. Nothing was there yet. Um, and I, will, I, I never thought that one day I would be actually working on a Mars mission. Uh, however, I studied uh, electrical engineering uh, because I had uh, an interest in space and I thought even, let's say, if I don't end up working in something related to space, but at least uh, I have the set of skills to understand what's going on, to understand how these systems work. And if an opportunity comes up, uh, then I'll go for it. If it doesn't, then at least I know what's happening with, with regards to space technology. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, may you describe in your own words, how hard is it to actually land, for example, a spacecraft onto Mars? Because I know that there's this atmosphere and it's not easy to get past through it and gravity. So, uh, yeah, that's my question. How hard is it to actually land a spacecraft onto Mars? It's extremely difficult. Uh, so putting a, a spacecraft around Mars in, in its orbit is extremely difficult difficult and challenging and risky. Landing something on Mars, on the surface of Mars, is even more difficult. Uh, so the risks are much higher. Um, but as you mentioned, uh, because, you know, as Mars, because Mars has atmosphere, even though it's much less dense than the atmosphere around Earth, but it's there. At the same time, also, it has gravity. It's less than the gravity on Earth. I think it's about maybe 40, 40 something percent of the gravity on Earth. Uh, roughly. Uh, however, uh, it's there. So it makes it more difficult. Let's say if you're going to land something on the moon, uh, it's less, less of a challenge because there's no atmosphere, there's no gravity. It's a vacuum. So it's easier to control. Uh, so to answer your question in brief, it's a very difficult job. Okay. And one, one last question. May you please make a message to all our North Angeles students that want to be like you one day, working in the space agency? 
my message for them is work hard, uh, dream big, uh, and be ambitious. Uh, don't let setbacks or challenges uh, pull you back. Uh, always uh, think out of the box. If you're feeling uncomfortable when you're doing something that you like, then that's good. That means you're doing something different and that, that means you're doing something with, once it, it's, you succeed in it, it's gonna be something big and it's gonna be considered a big achievement. If you're so, doing something that you like, but you're feeling very comfortable about it, then you're, you're not doing something new. You're not being creative, you're not being innovative. Uh, and pursue whatever you love. Always keep in mind, I mean, some things, things that you actually uh, enjoy doing. At the end of the day, I mean, from my perspective, I, I, my, my work is part of my lifestyle. Uh, I never actually followed that concept of, you know, separating work from personal life. It's part of me. My team is like my family to me. My work is part of my everyday uh, lifestyle. Uh, and, 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 and that's, from, 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 from my perspective, that's the best way to enjoy what you're doing, no matter how uncomfortable it is. We are so proud of you in the UAE and you're making the future here. And actually, I think that all of our students in NAS are ambitious because Be Ambitious is our school logo. Thank you very much. And, and keep up the, 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 the hard work and uh, looking forward for your mission, the landing mission. Keep me posted. Thank you. And always work out hard, as always. Yeah, thank you for your... Your spacecraft goes towards Mars at a thousand miles per hour, so you have to stop the spacecraft early. Your spacecraft needs a heat shield because when you enter the Mars atmosphere, it creates friction and it can burn your rover. But you might think friction slows your spaceship down, but that's we need more than that, so you also deploy parachutes. And I believe for my spaceship, I need a jetpack that will then make will lower four strings and then put the rover onto Mars safely. Let's consider that our jetpack already deployed itself and all the strings did. So now the parachute's deployed. Mission successful. All the goods on the on board are safe. <laughs>